one right way of building your wealth. You may hear terms like asset allocation, which relate to financial investments. But they tend to leave out your own house, your business, and jewelry. I believe there's a better way to think about wealth. I call it the money house. You build your foundation with assets you cannot afford to lose. So most people would put their own house and some amount of cash in it. I have to remind them that their health also comes in here and you want to protect all of it, whether it's through insurance or wealth planning. But you recognize that you can't grow wealth like this. So you invest in long-term investments, whether it's your education or an equity portfolio for your retirement. You take calculated or market risks. I call them growth fillers. The third bucket is the aspirational bucket or fun roof. This is your chance to get really rich or have fun in life. So you can buy a lottery ticket, start a business or a music or acting career. If these pay off, you get a lot of money and happiness. If they don't, you still have the rest of your house or portfolio standing. When you're nearing retirement, you start converting parts of your pillars and roof to an income slab, which means income producing assets. In my view, gold should go into the foundation, just like any other insurance. So if I have 30 to 50% of my wealth in the foundation, including my house, cash in the bank, and, um, and so on, maybe 5% of that, 5 to 10% maybe, could be in physical gold, which I can sell in the times of need. I could also allocate some from my growth portfolio to gold ETFs or gold mining stocks, depending on my views.